Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Eclipse Fox Processing Text Files for Contextual Analysis, I'm going to show you how you can provide context for the voice codes that have already been imported into your voice model so that Dragon will know when and where they should be used. This is an important step in getting good recognition for your voice codes. This video is based on the training provided in Real-Time Voice Writing 9th Edition for Court Reporting, written by Betty A. Keyes. Processing text files for contextual analysis in Dragon provides context to all of your voice codes. This allows Dragon to produce better takedown and more accurate results for your utterances. In the previous steps, we've already added the voice codes to voice vocabulary, and that means that the voice codes are now in the Dragon word bank, and Dragon can recognize them based on their written identities. We also trained all of the words, so now Dragon knows how you pronounce your voice codes. The next step is to give all of that information context. Many words sound similar, especially during high-speed dictation, and Dragon needs the ability to recognize your voice codes based on context, and not just the pronunciation. Providing this context is what will happen when we process the text files included on the disk that you should have received with your purchase. Next, I'm going to go into Eclipse and we'll get started with processing text files and giving Dragon the context it needs to properly interpret your speech. I'm now in Eclipse, and I've opened my Ashley Vox user that I have been using for these videos in order to get ready to start dictating with Vox. It is important to note that these instructions are intended uh, for Q&A purposes. If that's not the type of voice writing that you're going to be doing, the files that are provided on the disks may not be appropriate, and it may be best that you provide your own contextual files for analysis. If I browse to the files that come with the purchase of Eclipse Vox, in the Voice Files folder, in the Vocabulary Building Documents folder. In the Vocabulary Building Documents folder, there is a readme.txt file, and if you open this up, this gives you instructions on how to use the Group A and Group B folders. And it is recommended that you start with the files in Group A first. This uses the voice code CA for comma. However, if after using this group first, your comma is still being misrecognized as another regular vocabulary word, like cop, cot, or cot, then you would want to build with a group B, which will use the regular comma mark as the comma instead. I'm going to close out of this file, and I can close out of my Windows Explorer browse window because we'll be accessing these files through Dragon. I'm going to go to Vox Build, or I can go to Tools and Analyze Documents. I'll click on Vox Build, and I'm going to choose the user that I've been working with, which is the Ashley Vox user, and I'll hit Open. Once the Analyze Documents window opens up, you want to leave Find Unknown Words checked and also Adapt to Writing Style checked, and click Next. I'll hit Add Folder, and I'm going to browse to the USB drive, Voice Files, and under Vocabulary Building Documents, I'm going to choose Group A and hit OK. And all the files have filled into the Add Documents window, and I can hit Next. The document analysis has completed, so I'm going to hit Next. And I'm not going to add and train any of these words, I'm just going to hit Next again. Dragon has finished adapting itself to the writing style that I provided it with all of those files, and now it should be able to recognize the grammatical context of all of my dictations. So I'm going to hit Next and uh, it tells me how many new words were found and that it successfully adapted to my writing style, and I can hit Finish. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of Eclipse to save my speech files. I'm going to click Yes to save my speech files. And once that's done, I can either call it a day or I can move on to the next step, which will be the next video in the series. The next steps that will be covered will be setting up dictionaries in Eclipse to get ready to dictate.
Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about Eclipse Vox or any of Advantage Software's other great products, we do offer anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions about anything. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.